I hope you're having a wonderful day today. This is Jared with Final Cut Pro Help, and I'm providing you another tip. And if you are connected to the Final Cut Pro community, you most likely know Steve and Mark over at Ripple Training. They provide many great resources, and one of the things they did today is they actually had their first YouTube live stream to provide some tips, and then they had a Q&A section at the end of it. One of those questions came from Carol, and she asked, can you assign a keyboard shortcut to a custom workspace inside of Final Cut Pro 10? And they answered correctly, there is not a way to do that, at least currently, inside of Final Cut Pro 10. However, you can use Mac OS's feature to assign custom keyboard shortcuts, and that will work. You'll be able to create and use a keyboard shortcut to get that uh, custom layout. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to go up to the window menu, then go down to workspaces, and this is where you have the option to save the current workspace. So right now I'm using just the default workspace using the shortcut command zero, and that's what you see here. So you want to make the customization. So let's say I don't want to see the inspector, and I'll hide the library sidebar there as well. So let's say this is the custom workspace I want to create. I can then go up to Window, Workspaces, and choose Save, Save Workspace As. And for now, I'm just going to call this Custom. But make sure that you name it something very specific. You're going to need this name a little bit later in just a second. So I'm actually going to select this and copy that name just so I have it. And then I'll hit Save. So that's all you need to do inside of Final Cut Pro 10. If you go back up to Window, Workspaces, you can see custom does not have a shortcut assigned to it. So the next step is to go up to the Apple and go into System Preferences. Inside of System Preferences, click on the Keyboard Preference pane, then click on Shortcuts. On the left column, click on App Shortcuts, and this is where we're going to add a new shortcut. So just hit that little plus at the bottom. There is an option here that says for all applications. We don't want this. This is going to be specific to Final Cut Pro. So click on that menu and then select Final Cut Pro. The menu title is the name of the menu item. So this is the full name, including the every step that you take to get to that menu. So let me show you what I mean by this, because this can be a little bit confusing. When you go up to the menu bar, you first click on Window, then Workspaces, and then Custom. So we need that full path to assign the, the shortcut to Custom. So to do that, I just have to type in that list, then followed by a dash and a little greater than sign. Once you have the Custom Workspace path added, you can then create a keyboard shortcut for it. In this case, I'm not actually going to use this shortcut myself, so I'm just going to put in a long one, which is Control, Option, Shift, Command, W. And with that shortcut added, I can hit the uh, Add button to actually create it. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get uh, set up. Essentially, we're ready to go. So if we go back into Final Cut Pro, we can go up to the Window menu, down to Workspaces, and now you'll see the custom workspace has a shortcut assigned to it. You'll definitely want to go in and find a shortcut that's not in use by Final Cut Pro or the system. It's maybe a little bit shorter than that. But let me show you in action here. So I'm going to do Command-0 to go back to the default workspace. And then I'm going to press the shortcut that I've created. And you'll see it goes over to that custom workspace. So that's how you can get around really adding a shortcut to any menu command inside of Final Cut Pro 10. If it's not inside of the command editor inside of Final Cut, then go into System Preferences and add it there. I hope this tip helped out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Put a comment below. You can always send an email to finalcutprohelp at me.com. And make sure to subscribe to see any additional content coming out in the future.